Is this the most accurate web app buzzer? Can it really find others can't see? Watch till the end to see how good is Dirt Search and how it stacks up with others. Dirt Search is a web app directory brute forcer which is written in Python. It is aimed for finding files and directories, but it cannot be used in fuzzing other parts of an HTTP request such as parameters, headers, and cookies. Installing in Linux is easy. You can either install by cloning the repo or by installing it like any normal Debian package. Do note that installation via APT may not work on future versions of Kali as it was flagged as deprecate. Aside from Linux, it is also available in Windows, but you may need to install Python 3 first. DirSearch works like normal web buzzer. You supply the target URL and you are ready to go. But how about the word list? That is something unique to DirSearch. It uses its own word list with its own format. Unlike others, its word list contains a special notation that represents the file extension. It only adds this on words that make sense to be a file. This means that it has the ability to distinguish a file from a directory properly. That makes the result more accurate and with less noise. To give you an example, let's run Firox Buster and Dir search using same word list that looks for a text file. We will also tail each command's log file to see the requests they are doing in the backend. As you see, Ferox Buster appends the file extension for most word list entry. Looking closely, we can see that it tries also to put it on unnecessary locations. This is not Ferox Buster's fault. It is just how fuzzing tools work in general. It loops through the word list and adds the extension on each word entry. With Dirt Search, most of the append happens only on possible file candidates, and there are less of those kind of issues. Another thing that makes Dirt Search result more accurate compared to others is due to its default blacklisting method. It allows you to build a list of common status code and endpoints you normally want to exclude from the search. What it means is that you can build your list on top of the predefined paths inside this directory. This is helpful in recursion scenarios. To give you an example, let's say we have a word list that contains an HT access file. Under normal circumstances, if we do recursion, that will be treated as a directory and another series of tests will be run underneath that path, which is not what we want. Adding that in the 403 blacklist file will tell DirSearch to skip that path. I know there are ways to do this using other tools, but I just find this method easier and more clear because it gives you idea on what are the common paths that are normally excluded from the tests. Now that we know DirSearch have a better word list and good blacklisting method, which makes it more accurate compared to other tools, what are the things I don't like? First, it is really slow. 10 years later. Second thing is that the word list and blacklisting feature can be a double-edged sword. For example, if you are expecting a path but is missing from the results, that path might be included in the default blacklist which is not immediately obvious. This may impact your enumeration process and miss important detail. Overall, I find DirSearch really useful in finding things others cannot see due to its robust word list. So what is my takeaway on this? Can I rely solely on DirSearch? It depends on the scenario but I think I could rely on it in most file and directory enumeration process. For example, fuzz in HTTP parameters is not possible, so I need to use other tool for this. If I need to use advanced feature, such as ability to collect words on the fly and add it on the existing word list, I might use a different tool for that. So in summary, although DirSearch is really good in finding things, we still need to use different tool set for different purposes. How about you? Do you use DirSearch? Feel free to share your experience with it on the comments below.